Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing the second learning objective of uh, this chapter, uh, the major qualitative research orientations. There are four, orientation, four orientations we will be discussing. Phenomenology, ethnography, grounded theory, and case studies. Phenomenology is an approach that originates in philosophy and psychology. Ethnography originates in anthropology. The grounded theory originates in sociology and case studies um, originates in psychology and business research. We will be briefly discussing each of them. First of all is phenomenology. Uh, this orientation is basically a philosophical approach. Philosophical approach when we study human behavior or human experiences. Considering the fact that human behavior or experiences are subject dependent or context dependent, um, for example, uh, the surroundings or the environment that the respondent live in um, can have an impact on their behavior and experience. In, in this approach, um, the interviewer is careful to avoid asking direct questions. Rather than uh, the research respondent and asked to tell story um, about some experiences. In addition, the researcher must do everything possible to make sure a respondent is, respondent is comfortable in telling his or her story. Another way of doing so is uh, avoid having the person use his or her real name. And this is particularly applicable when um, we research on a sensitive issue, for example, smoking, drug usage, uh, shoplifting, or employee theft, and so on. Then um, ethnography. Ethnography uh, is a qualitative research orientation where we study cultures, cultures um, thereby becoming intimately involved with a particular culture. Now, culture can be a broad culture, for example, U.S. culture, or can be a uh, narrow culture, for example, organizational culture. So the main, um, the main idea of ethnography is um, that the researcher will become highly involved um, with a particular culture, will observe the culture, and um, then write down his or her observation. For example, uh, let's say you are researching that why people buy uh, a particular brand, maybe Harley Davidson. So uh, if you follow ethnography approach, then you will merge or you will, you will highly involve with a group that uh, uses uh, this particular brand. Probably you yourself will start using the brand and then merge with the group that use the similar brand. Then observe them or, or ask them questions and then, uh, then use or summarize these responses to address your research objective. Then grounded theory. Grounded theory is, is an approach where researcher poses questions about information provided by respondents. That means generally what we do, we researcher ask questions to respondents. In, in grounded theory, a researcher first of all asks questions to respondents, get their responses, and then keep asking questions to himself or herself um, to understand the research phenomena more clearly. For example, like once you get responses from your respondents, you keep asking what is happening or how it is different. For example, once um, a researcher was given a responsibility to find out that whether a sales team of a particular organization is as effective as it, uh, it previously was. So what uh, the researcher did was researcher collected all the meeting minutes of this of this sales team in the last five years uh, that and then uh, go through these uh, meeting minors and then keep asking question that how did they solve a problem and when a problem arises how did they address how did they communicate at each other and how they implemented a particular strategy so they kept asking question researcher kept asking question um, to uh, address a particular research objective so that is grounded theory and last of all, case studies. Um, all of you understand that case study is a documented history of a particular person, group, organization, or event. And this is particularly useful in business. That means when a business problem or a business research issue arises, researcher will try to find out how these certain issues were addressed by organizations in, in the previous time and try to relate their, their strategy or their findings to the current problem. So this is the this video. Now please uh, see the next video for a discussion on the next learning objective. Thank you.